week five of Noseworth level one for you. Now that our dogs understand the box game, you see I have two white boxes here, but I have other things too. I have a smaller white box with like an Etsy label on it. Um, we've got some cups and tins. We've got some pencil cases here and I'm holding on to a different pencil case. What we're going to start to do now is teach our dogs that the odor or food might not actually be in a white box, that they have to check everything. So we have two uh, Tupperware bins. They're black. They might not show up very well on the black floor for the video, but one says blank, which is where I got all the things that are already on the floor. And one says hot. Oh, you cheater. Hold on, Captain. He's like, but I would like to play the game now. Sit. Wait. This one had odor in it. In fact, when I open it, I can smell cloves. So I think the last uh, nosework class before we closed had probably used this pencil container for actual odor and not food. So what I'm going to do, this was in our hot container box over there. I'm just going to put some food in it and I'm going to close it. Touch. Actually, I'm going to move Captain behind because I really want him to search. Touch. Sit. Stay. So I'm going to put this here. And again, this one is the hot one. So this is the one that has the odor. Nothing else has been contaminated with odor. So I'm going to send in Captain. Find it. And now he's going to check everything. You can hear him. Alert. So this is Captain's alert. He's handsy. I'm going to open this up. He's going to get the food out of it. I'm gonna give him an extra couple here. Again, nose work too in just a couple weeks for you. You're going to be feeding at the source. So this is really more for your muscle memory than it is for the dog getting something extra in their thing. So you wanna try again? All right, but I'm gonna give him a different container. He doesn't know that yet. Cap, come, 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 come. Sit, stay. I don't want that to get stuck, stay. Resting hound face. This was the hot one. I'm going to put it in a closed container. In the nose work class, there we actually have enough of these cups that we'll actually just do a course that's just cups, which is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it. Ready? Find it. Go find it. So he went to where the odor used to be. It's not there, so now he really has to look. Is that it? I think that's an alert. <laughs> good boy. Yes, good work. Good job. I dump out the food. So, practice with different looks. You don't necessarily need to have white boxes. Um, as he gets better, I'll actually even take all the boxes off the floor so that way he's just looking at novel objects. I can use a shoe. I can use whatever I have. As long as it's something that's not going to hurt him, I'm not going to put down razor blades, barbed wire, and rusty nails. <laughs> like, um, but I am maybe going to start a collection of objects from around the house that I could maybe use, Kevin, that I could maybe use for, uh, for this purpose. Um, store them somewhere. I can do this game. We often do it in our basement. So one of the daily challenges next week you'll see, or in previous weeks, depending on when this episode drops. Isn't that what the <laughs> podcasters say? <laughs> depending on when this drops. I'm so not cool. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see Captain like working in a basement, um, doing uh, some nose work, but not necessarily for like a find it exercise in a structured way like this. I took his breakfast Kong and I stuck it behind uh, between the washer and dryer. And then I had him go looking for it. So that way he had to look for his breakfast. And then once he found it, he brought it upstairs and got to eat it. So there are different ways that you can use find it. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to look like this, but this is a start to start getting your dog looking for other things. When we return, I won't be able to teach you guys anything else going on past this point. Except for I would encourage you guys to maybe start thinking about how to pair odor. And when you guys come back, we will get you guys tins. So you can start taking that odor and pairing it to the food that you have. And we'll show you how to do that when we're back at the facility. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to call. Email considerationsbook at gmail.com. Um, or send me a note. Um, I have a contact me on my Facebook, on my regular 
website, melissanakeumcraft.com, or you can contact me through every dog, reach out to Diane, she can get you in touch with me. There are ways, <laughs> I am findable, <laughs> like, um, and I wanna help you. So if you have any questions at all, reach out. Um, good luck, happy hunting, and we'll hopefully see you guys back at the facility very, very soon.